that impact, that purpose is part of my identity, then social media indirectly became a part of my identity. And so the part where I was saying, Welcome everyone, Roots and Rose podcast with your host Nathan, a fellow teen, going through the process with you. We're about improving ourselves and growing with purpose to create impact in this world. I just want to delve into this episode because honestly, I'm super excited. So let's get started. I first want to thank Matt Diavella and Jason Zook for bringing me to this idea. Basically, Matt Diavella does an interview show called The Ground Up Show. He interviewed a person named Jason Zook, who had been doing the challenge for a while, and he introduced Matt to it. Matt introduced it to YouTube, and now I'm talking about it to you, being inspired by those two. So what is it? If you haven't figured it out from the self-explanatory title, it's basically taking a break or a detox from social media for 30 days. In this episode, I'll talk about the basics of the challenge, the twist that I've made, and what social media does, eight basic effects that most of us experience. And if you're wondering, the recent episode was canceled uh, because of the George Floyd Memorial, in case you're wondering, taking time to just honor that. As we know, the endless scrolling of Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, TikTok, Reddit, Quora, I mean, is there any more? That's eight social media platforms, and it's crazy. Yes, I consider all of those social media, including YouTube, Quora, Reddit, etc. Because you're all consuming content on all of those. You'll see why later on. Whether you're on all of them or just one, this challenge will have an effect on you. So the challenge, no content consumption for 30 days. The original challenge was just no social media whatsoever, but I revised it to no content consumption. Starting June 22nd for 30 days until the July 21st. That's my challenge to you. I use the word content consumption because I still want to put out content and create podcast episodes for the last 15 days. Not for the sake of views, because I won't get any if you're doing the challenge, but for the sake of finding ways to enjoy the process as much as possible. I hope that after the challenge ends, you'll check out the content and gain value. But for the 30 days, staying away as much as possible. And I'll explain more, but first let's talk about why. Social media, for me, has brought lots of benefits for me. You know, being able to put this podcast on YouTube, spread impact, and all of those things. With the digital world, it being able to access billions of resources and knowledge and see people who I admire and begin to expand my perspective and spread impact so easily. All of it, it's amazing. I could continue to rant about this and elaborate. It's something I don't realize to this day, and I'm still trying to appreciate it. But there is some bad stuff. Number one. Information. The amount of information that you take in is a lot. And especially when it's not entertainment, it's a lot to implement or try out. Or if it's an important life lesson or strategy, I personally felt like I was consuming too much more than I should, and that sometimes it was overwhelming or became a habit, which we all can agree that we've had at some time. We forget to implement what we actually have learned. Number two, identity. At the same time, social media was able to expand my perspective, being open to new things, seeing new people and different thinkings. But at the same time, it felt like I lost parts. I'm not sure why or if that's a good thing. This is just one thing that I'm exploring, and I'm not sure, but I wanted to just try it out and test the effects. Number three, I think the most common one, and that's making it a habit. Addicted wasn't exactly the right word. It didn't feel right, but making it a habit. Doing it too often, taking in content, even though it brought value, a lot. Number four, clarity. Limiting the amount of distractions that come in your life because social media is a distraction. Whether you have it for your business or not, it's still, part of it is a distraction because you're consuming content and not all that content is relevant. Even though the algorithm tries to promote the best content for you, it's not always the best, and so you're always sometimes seeing stuff that's already been used. There's lack of clarity, and it becomes a distraction. Number five, stress or FOMO, F-O-M-O. That's the fear of missing out. There's a lot of videos and articles about this, the feeling that if someone posts something and we don't like it or we don't see it, we're going to miss out. What we forget is that we can literally 
just look it up and hit their profile and look what they posted. That's all it takes. But instead the FOMO comes. And it's a common business tactic, so it makes sense. But when it comes to exclusive, limited edition stuff, oh, if you don't buy this before this date, then you're going to miss out. And half of the time that is true and half of the time it isn't. And focus on what really matters. And you should have control over social media. So not social media have control over you. And if you don't, that's okay because I didn't either. That's why I'm taking this challenge. And that's number six, having control over your life. Social media shouldn't control you. You shouldn't control it. Number seven. I like this quote by Jason Silva, where he said, social media became a part of my identity. And that really struck me because I had centered the way that I am making, I'm trying to make an impact. Social media was more an effective way of spreading it. For example, I'm doing this podcast right now. Let's just consider it social media because I'm putting it up on YouTube. That's technically social media. So if that impact, if that purpose is part of my identity, then social media indirectly became an, a part of my identity. And so the part where I was saying, it's rather just a more effective way to spread it. That's the change that we need to make. Social media is just a more effective way of spreading the impact. It's, it's more powerful, but that shouldn't be a part of our identity. And number eight, this is the most common one, and this is the last one. It's being compared. When it comes to life and social media, or when it comes to travel, whatever it comes with, we have sometimes feel compared. Oh, like, oh, they're making millions, and I'm only making hundreds, or whatever it may be. People only talk about the good stuff in their life with social media. It takes a level of humility and confidence to be able to be vulnerable there. So if you are, like, good job. But feeling compared to all the people on their weight loss journey, their accomplishments, or where they travel to, the list goes on. And that's why the absolute necessary part of this is no content consumption. For me, that includes articles, research, YouTube videos, podcasts, even quotes. If you don't normally put content out on a schedule, then don't at all for these 30 days. If you do, if you're uploading weekly, monthly, or daily, or bi-daily, if you do what I would recommend is for the first 15 days, just do some identity and breaking habits and confidence stuff, meditation, journaling, whatever you do. Absolute peace. And then for the next 15 days, slowly start putting out content because then you have a sense of identity, confidence, clarity, creativity, freshness, inspiration, breaking habits, and more. Or whatever amount of days work. Finding ways to enjoy the process as much as possible so that it gets boring as least as possible and that you can do as long as possible and to be creative and unique. That's the ultimate purpose of this and to break habits. And modify that. However, this is just me. If you're scared to do this though, or you don't want to do this because you're worried about what will be the results on your business or your side hustles or whatever, I'm still going to tell you to do it. For entrepreneurs, even if your business runs on social media, work on other aspects or work on the business, not in the business. That's what CEOs do, which was taught in the seven habits. They work on leading it in the right direction, not the daily task. And maybe you're trapped in the daily task right now because you're starting it up and you're finding hard ways to outsource it or whatever, or maybe you don't have money. Soon find ways to get out of it for right now. Or even work on the future, plan, get creative, find ways to get out of the addiction and start controlling it. Find ways to not use social media and that just be one of the more effective ways. Because social media is a powerful tool for your business. I'm not denying that. But find ways to either include or, or other parts or find ways to get out of it and control how you use it. And for those of you who don't have a business running on social media, I seriously can't think of a good reason other than you missing a limiting time offer, which will most likely come again. If it doesn't, and you really can't afford to miss it, then maybe that one day, skip that day of social media, and just for the offer, just do it. If you do it for that one day, what will probably happen is you'll probably get taught, kept in the other posts because you haven't seen it in the past seven days or two days. To be resourceful and to do this challenge, take the challenge. Now, before we wrap this up, here's what you can do. Number one, if you plan to go on June 22nd, which I hope because even though it's not the official day for anything, it would feel epic because you're part of something bigger. And start on June 22nd. If not, start whenever, but don't procrastinate. Also, don't rush this process by immediately quitting social media today and immediately jumping back into social media at the end of the 30 days. The point is to have control and to slowly progress. And lastly, number three, share this with everyone you know. 
literally everyone. Take that as a mini challenge too. I'm pretty sure almost everyone uses social media so everyone can benefit. But that's it. Thanks for listening to today's episode, and I hope it inspired you to create impact, grow, and execute and brought you value. I would love a five-star review or feedback in general, and I look forward to the next episode, which we'll probably hear in about 40 days because of the social media challenge. If you decide to take the challenge, I'd love to hear how it goes after you complete it and anything you learned about it. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this episode. Thanks.